Welcome to Snowmobile or Television. On today's episode, our test riders will take out some 2015 two-up sleds. The folks at Triton Trailers will go over the latest in trailer technology, and the folks at Kimpex show. Touring sleds have come a long way from the 80s and 90s when really all you had was an extended seat and hopefully a strap for the person to hang on so they didn't fall off the back. Today's touring sleds are pure luxury. Lots of heat, lots of wind protection, lots of luxury. So that all said, we also threw a couple other sleds into the mix today just to jazz it up a little bit, if you will. So let's go see what the test riders have to say about the ultimate in luxury touring sleds. Skidoo Grand Touring 1200 with the Fortec. Um, today we head out and uh, for me it's the BMW of snowmobiles. And for 2015 BRP has put the silent drive on the uh, Grand Touring with the 1200 motor. And if you haven't uh, rode a, uh, a sled with uh, silent drive, uh, you, you really owe it to yourself. Um, zero track noise, so you don't hear that whining, that you know, uh, noise. This sled is like a Swiss uh, is like a Swiss watch it's just beautiful and uh, air ride R motion um, 1200 four cylinder four tech engine um, you can adjust the uh, the uh, the ride height on it straight from the uh, handlebars it's got an onboard little air compressor it pumps up the shock so you can set it to whatever level you want depending on uh, how many uh, uh, passenger weight you have on it. Just just a really nice snowmobile to ride. You can ride it all day, take your pull your helmet off and your ears aren't ringing. Uh, tons of wind protection uh, and it goes really well. It's just, uh, it's, it, it is the top of the line snowmobile on the snow today. Uh, new for 2015 for Articat is the Pantera 7000. Uh, we're riding the base model today. It comes in the uh, base or limited. The limited gets uh, the extra saddlebags and um, uh, deluxe gauge and little things like that. Um, this is a uh, all new sled. It's based on the Pro Tour chassis, so it's pretty close to the Pro Cross. It gets a different tunnel. Uh, has a 146 rear suspension, which is pretty much the same as what was in the uh, the previous TZ1 which is a good thing because that's, uh, that's one of the best touring suspensions on the market and, and actually one of the best just riding suspensions in general on the market. It's extremely stable so its corner is very flat and uh, you can actually ride the sled really aggressive. That was one of the things the designers wanted to make sure they didn't lose the fun that you could actually go out and whether riding two up or one up you could actually ride aggressive and you know it's got similar uh, shot calibrations to that of the XF uh, Sport models so um, it'll take the bumps and it'll handle quick corners and hard cornering, which is nice because I mean, it's a snowmobile, you still want to have fun on it, you don't always go on a straight line with two people on it. The Adventure also is in the new Axis chassis. Uh, same, same color graphics as uh, last year in 2014, but uh, 2015 it comes in the new Axis chassis. Um, Fantastic ride, fantastic handling. You get the uh, you get the uh, the luggage rack, uh, luggage bags on the side with the with the inside liners that you can bring into the motel room at night. So all the goodness the Switchback has been known for. It's the original adventure on off road uh, snowmobile, and Polaris has I guess uh, defined that category or created it. You know, based on the KTM type motorcycle adventure bikes that are really popular in the summertime. And for 2015, with the Axis uh, chassis, it's just uh, 100 times better, that's all I can say. You have to ride it to believe it. So 
So we rode the 2015 SR Viper STX DX. It's a new model for 2015. This is for the adventure touring market. Uh, it's got a nice rack on the back where you can add extra uh, accessory bags, that kind of thing. It's got uh, the heavy duty bumper on the back. You can add accessory two up seat, which is nice as a first for Yamaha. Um, comes with a large windshield, the tuner skis, and uh, the biggest feature on the machine is the, the 141 inch long track. It's a Cobra track, uh, 1.352 lugs, but it's an uncoupled suspension. So it's not gonna ride as well as the LTX uh, that has the 137 coupled suspension. You're gonna get a lot more weight transfer out of it. It's gonna definitely pivot more in the corners. So it takes a different riding style, but once you get off trail, and you want to do a bit of exploring, you're going to like that uncoupled suspension. When you want to get on the gas, it's going to lift those skis off the snow, let that machine get, uh, maneuver around a little easier. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, we've put miles on the suspension before. Uh, it is no different, um, the, you know, in the, in the STX version. And uh, it's going to be a good machine for Yamaha, and it's, uh, it's a good all-round machine. It's not, uh, not a great riding trail machine, but it's great. You know, it's pretty good off-trail, and it'll handle actually quite a bit of powder as a uh, we found out this year so it's pretty comfortable and lots of wind protection and carries all your gear as well.